I'm going to show you how we add two floating point numbers together. We're going to jump straight in and look at an example. So let's write down our two numbers that we're going to add here. So we've got this one here and I'm going to again just leave a gap between the mantissa and the and the exponent. So we've got four bits for the exponent there, six bits for the mantissa and then our second number is this here. Now the first step is to ensure that both our numbers are normalized and they are and we can we're just going to put our imaginary point in here just just to get started with. Next stage is to ensure both our exponents are the same. We do that by taking the smaller number and making it have the same exponent as the bigger number. So if we look at this, our smaller number is the top number here, has the exponent of 2. Our bottom number has an exponent of 4. So what we need to do is to make our top number have an exponent of 4. And the way we do that to the mantissa is we need to shift our imaginary point two spaces to the left. So we're going to we're going to have to do that now. So let's put a few leading zeros here so we can do that. And then we're going to shift now because we have to make it two because it's two, the exponent, and it's four for the big, bigger number, we have to go add two to make it four. So we shift two spaces to the left here. One to and our new position of our new imaginary point is, is there. So now let's write down our top number again. So it's going to be 0 0.00110 and now it has the same same exponent as our, as our number there. And we add these together. So we only need to add the Add the mantissa, of course. So we're going to do that now. So we've got 1 plus 0, that's 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0, that's 1. That's 0. So that now is the value of the addition of those two floating point numbers. We can, of course, check these, and you can do this yourself. You can check these by converting them to denary.